Ceramonic has been one of my go-to brands when it comes to wireless microphone systems. In fact, most of my wireless lavalier microphone reviews are Ceramonic mics because Ceramonic never failed to impress me when it comes to sound quality and signal reliability. And right now, they released their newest professional wireless microphone system. Behold, the Ceramonic UW Mic 9 S. Yes. S. I'm not really sure though what the S means. It just sounds cool. And I am telling you, it's not just the S that makes it sound cool. It's the sound quality as well. That's a lot of sounds and S's. Well, anyway, to officially start this video, let's now roll the intro. Paramon Pro. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Ryan and Shaolin Puy. Thank you so much for coming back here on my channel. I am back at it again. Another audio gear review, but this time it's from Ceremonic. Again. This is the newly released Ceremonic UW Mic 9 S Kit 2. I believe I'm the first one to have a YouTube review video talking about this. Right? I think so. We are going to strip this down and see if the added S will really satisfy us when it comes to not just the audio quality, but also the features that are packed inside. Now, to start this review video, let me show you first what's in the box. Inside the box, you get a quality certificate, stickers, a warranty card, a user manual, two DK3A omnidirectional lavalier microphones, one 3.5 TRS locking type plug audio cable, four foam windscreens, two Velcro straps, four dead cats, two lavalier clips, four detachable antennas, one 3.5 TRS male to dual locking type 3.5 millimeter TRS male Y cable, three USB-C to USB-A cables, two XLR to 3.5 TRS locking type plug audio cable, one cold shoe mount adapter, three belt clips, two body packs or transmitters, and one portable receiver. You'll also get a crush-proof, watertight suitcase for this system, but my unit is one of the pre-production units, so I didn't get that hard case. The Ceramonic UW Mic 9 S Kit 2 is a two transmitter, one receiver UHF microphone system. It also has a Kit 1 version which has a one transmitter and one receiver. This system provides a cost-effective two-person upgraded wireless audio solution for vloggers, mobile journalists, and content creators. Well, I'm just reading the, the script. Did I sound professional there? Well, no cheating. Anyway, let's talk about the build quality. It is made out of aluminum alloy. It feels robust, durable, and premium. It's not that heavy as well unlike the previous generation that uses two AA batteries. The UW Mic 9 S has a built-in battery. Yes, that is one of the new and main features of the S version. It has a rechargeable battery inside. It took me one to two hours to fully charge these units and lasted eight hours until it's fully drained. For me, eight hours is too long already, but if you think that it's not long enough, you can charge it while you are using it. You can charge and power it with a power bank or a five volt USB charger using the included USB-C cables. All the units has a vivid high contrast OLED display, buttons that feel tactile to the touch. Here's another new iteration, detachable and 360 degrees switchable antennas for better signal. Never seen anything quite like those before and we are going to test the range later. Now, let's look at the receiver first. This weighs 190 grams, same with the transmitters. Up top, we have two detachable 360 degree antennas. Here is a new feature again. We have here two separate outputs, the left and the right outputs. You can separate your outputs. Here's a sample scenario where you can use this feature. You can send the left channel to your camera, then on the other side, the right channel can be sent to a mixer. I hope you understood that. Basically, you can have two separate gadgets to record or broadcast the left and the right channel. Maybe two cameras or two mixers. 
It's up to you. So Ryan, are you saying that the UW Mic 9 S has stereo mode for both the transmitters? Yes, the S version has mono and stereo mode. That's why you can separate the left and the right channels. The previous version of the UW Mic 9 only has mono mode, so yes, this is a new feature for the S version. Speaking of new features, we are not done yet because as you can see here, we have a physical on and off switches for group A and B. Not just the mute button, a physical switch to disable TX1 and TX2. The new features doesn't stop there because on this side, we have a mic slash input. Confused? What? Ceremony just put a mic slash line input on the receiver? Yes, they did that. At first, I was so confused, but then I realized why not, you ceremonic guys? This input will not disable both the transmitters, meaning you can still use TX1 and TX2 and this additional mic slash line input simultaneously. So you have three inputs in total. But you have to keep in mind that this mic slash line input on the receiver is in mono mode, meaning the audio from this input will be on both of your channels. If you're recording stereo, the audio from this mic slash line input on the transmitter will be mixed on your left and right channels. So even if you split your outputs to left and right, this mic slash line input on the transmitter will be present in the mix. On the other side, it has a monitor or headphone output to monitor your audio. But again, you have to keep in mind that the audio that's coming out from this output will not be the audio that's going to be burned to your footage because it didn't pass through your camera yet. It has three LED indicator lights here, the RFA indicator, the infrared slash power indicator, and the RFB indicator. The RFA and B indicator lights are solid blue when the signal is strong then it turns off if the transmitter is off or it is muted. When the infrared slash power indicator is solid blue, it means it has sufficient battery. It turns solid red when the battery is low. When charging it, the light is flashing red. When it's fully charged, it turns solid blue. Under the transmitter, it has its USB-C DC port that is used to charge or power this thing. Now, Let's look at the transmitter. Up top, it has a single detachable 360 degree antenna. It has a line in for external microphones like shotgun mics or mixers. Then a mic input here for the included DK3A omnidirectional lavalier microphone. And by the way, all inputs and outputs have locking threads for added security. Underneath, it has a USB-C DC 5 volt port for charging and powering the unit. It has an audio slash infrared indicator here, solid blue when the audio input level is appropriate, flashing red when it's muted. The other light is the power indicator light, solid blue when power is sufficient, solid red for low battery. When charging, it goes flashing red. When it's fully charged, it turns solid blue. Here are some more features. It still features infrared pairing. The good old IR is still alive and kicking. It also features mic sensitivity adjustment on each transmitter. Now let's hear the most important part, the audio quality. Since the start of this video, I'm using one of the transmitters with the included DK3A lavalier mic. Tell me how it sounds like. For me, it is still professional and broadcast quality. It has a flatter sound compared to the previous version. And definitely, this sounds more rich because of the included DK3A omnidirectional lavalier mic. The DK3A omnidirectional lavalier mic is much better than the SRU-M10M1 that is included in the previous version. Now, let's hear the noise floor. I'll now do the noise floor phase. Now, before I forget, the UW Mic 9 S features a low cut function for low frequency noise canceling. Let's test and enable that now. Now you are hearing the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 S, and I am still using one of the transmitters with the included DK3A lavalier microphone. But this time, I enabled the low cut function. Tell me how it sounds like. For me, I can say that it does a pretty decent job canceling the low frequency rumbling. Not bad, really. Now for the noise floor with the low cut function turned on, I'll do the noise floor phase.
Now here is a comparison. I will be switching to my other lavalier mics to let you guys hear the difference when it comes to audio quality. Right now you're hearing the Rode RodeLink wireless lavalier microphone system and it is now connected of course to my camera here. This is raw audio without any effect added. I can say that this is boomy or it has a low boost compared to the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. Now let me do the noise floor phase. Now let me switch to my other wireless lavalier microphone, the Hollyland Lark 150. Now you are hearing the Hollyland Lark 150 and it is now connected of course to my Zaycam E2 M4. Again, this is raw audio without any effect added. For me, this is rich in mid frequencies. It's not that flat. Now to hear the noise floor of the Lark 150, let me do the noise floor phase. Now let me switch back to the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. And we are now back to the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. Now let's go outside and test the signal range. Okay, right now I'm outside to test the range of the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. I'm wearing one of the transmitters with the included DKM3 lavalier mics. Let me go to 10 meters. This is 10 meters away from the camera. This is 10 meters, let me go to 30, 30 meters. Again, I am testing out the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. So this is 30 meters away from the camera. This is 30. Let me go to 50. Let me go to 50 meters away from the camera. This, let me go to 50 meters away from the camera. Now this is 50 meters. This is 50 meters away from the camera. Let me go to 100 meters. Let me go to 100 meters away from the camera. Again, I am testing out the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S Kit 2. I am wearing one of the transmitters with the included DKM3 lavalier microphone. This is 100 meters away from the camera. This is 100 meters. Let me go here and test the line of sight range. I am going off the frame. This is like 120 meters away from the camera. This is 120 meters away from the camera. I'm just testing out the line of sight capabilities. Again, this is 120 meters away from the camera. This is 120 meters away from the camera. Let me go back to 100 meters. Let me go back to 100 meters. Let me go back to 100 meters because there's a shade here. This is 100 meters away from the camera. Again, I am testing out the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. Let me go back to 10 meters. Now that has been my outdoor test and my signal range test of the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. Now that we are done mentioning all the features and performing the comparisons and tests, here are my final thoughts about the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S. Here are the things I like. Number one, I like the fact that it has detachable antennas. Traveling with it comes very easy. Number two, I also like that it features mono and stereo recording so I have flexibility in post-processing. Number three, I like the fact that it has built-in rechargeable batteries. I like the convenience of not having to buy disposable AA batteries or carry rechargeable AA batteries and also giving you the option to charge it while in use. Number four, the sound quality is the most important thing for me and the S version never fails to perform beautifully in that category. Number five, this is more affordable compared to its competitors in the market like the Sennheiser EWG4 which costs 599 US dollars. That's a single transmitter system by the way. And the Sony UWP-D21 that costs 549 US dollars. A single transmitter system as well. You can get the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S for only 449 US dollars. That's dual transmitter already. See, this is super affordable given all the features that it has. Now, if there's one thing that I don't like about the Ceremonic UW Mic 9S Kit 2, since you have to charge this individually, you have to have at least three USB charging ports. I'm not asking for a charging case. Maybe it will be more convenient if they have provided us with a three USB port charger. Now, why would I buy this and not the Ceremonic Blink 500 Pro B2? Because the signal is more reliable due to its antennas and the build and the audio quality is definitely 
better. All in all, the Ceremony QW Mic 9S has everything that I need. Feature packed and produces high quality audio. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Now that has been my review of the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 S Kit 2. If you want to know more about this wireless microphone system, check out the links below. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell as well. Once again, this has been Rhino Denshal. Thanks so much for being here, and see you in the next video.